Ugh. I am literally going to be gone for a month. Ladies and gentlemen, this begins our uh, our Europe adventure, our Singapore adventure, and then again, after Singapore, I'm back in LA for one day and then off to Denver, and then I'm back in LA for one day and then off to the Bay Area. It is going to be a busy four and a half weeks, ladies and gents. Hope you guys are ready for a very sporadic upload schedule, to say the least. Luckily, kind of, you know, the positives and negatives, the, the project, the platform, bit of, not on pause, but like slow right now, which means I have more time to focus on videos. So, uh, and I'm feeling pretty motivated right now to get some like cool videos out for you guys while I'm out in Europe. So we're gonna be, I'm gonna try to make some cool videos, all right, I'm gonna try. But it starts today. So I'm gonna get to the airport super early, for the first time ever, might I add. Let us get on to, first stop, Paris. Remember how I said we were like early this time for the first time ever? There was a very long line and now we're late. <laughs> I can't win on these trips, man, so. Oh. Welcome back, finally, once again, to Paris, France. We've got about four or five-ish days here and a little bit of adventuring to do in an event that's happening while we're here, uh, the Legendary Lunch Hour event, which is great. And actually, we are just, it's, I mean, this is Paris, right? So it's just me popping with spawns, and is that, is that a masquerade raid? Masquerade raid, okay, so international, Oh, and my internet just died. Wonderful. Well, here's what's happening. Three day streak. Okay, we got it. We got a lot of raids happening right now. Uh, catch 10 bug type. Hold on. If I get these two Yanma right here, that means we have a Scyther check. So let me grab this. Um, tonight is Monday night. I will not be playing much Pokemon Go tonight or recording much tonight. I have to get um, a, like an outlet converter to charge my laptop because that's like one of the key things that you do and or you have when you travel. I forgot mine somehow, so I need to go get that. And then I'm gonna go grab some dinner and because of the time zones, I need to get a video out by 10.30 p.m. here. So I'm gonna go eat dinner and edit a video and then come back to my hotel, upload the video, and then go to sleep because I've slept like, what, like three hours, I guess, in the past 24, so. Gonna get an early rise, early day, early start tomorrow, and tomorrow we'll have more of a, of a Paris adventure. And actually, we did get the check, so we can get the stamp, and here is another Scyther check for the seven-day box, which I think we're gonna open maybe today. We might open this today, might as well. Oh, okay, yet another Scyther, yet another uh, disappointment. And you know what? I'm saying we open that box right now. Okay, disclaimer, if the camera falls backwards, it's going into the water you see right here. It's gonna, it's gonna land, it's gonna splash about right there. <laughs> End game, so I'm gonna stay kind of close. We're just gonna, let me collect this so that I could get the camera off the ledge. This makes me so nervous. Okay, and we're gonna claim the box, field research. I don't have an egg or a star piece down, unfortunately, and no Sinnoh stone, so that's whatever. What will the legendary be? It can be shiny, it's going to be... I'm gonna quit the, maybe I will push the camera in the water, or better yet, I'm gonna throw my camera in the water, so, or phone, Reggie ice, I'm gonna throw Reggie ice in the water, it's gonna freeze, and we're gonna have a, a climate meltdown here. But you know what, I'm leaving. I'm gonna go get some crepes and some, some charging converter ports, and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Okay, good morning. Now today we have, uh, I Big news to start off with, not start off with, we're not gonna start off with it, we're gonna get to it after I complete these quests and get breakfast, I was about to say lunch, it's breakfast-ish time. We need a couple more bug type. Let me quick catch these quickly. Today, okay, for starters, for onesies, today is the last day of the bug out event. I don't know when it ends for me since I'm in Paris, but I know that it ends in the US today. So it's our last day, which means this will be last one of the last Scyther checks out of research. And the stamp for the day, it's gonna be, oh, it's, 
I don't know, man. <laughs> Another thing too is that we just dropped the incense because today is one of the last days for the incense as well, or the incense being one, an hour long, and two, I mean, apparently good. I'm not sure how good good is. Well, I, I got three Scythe requests in a row out of three stops yesterday, so my hopes are high for uh, more of these guys. That's another check, another L. Who also another big announcement as we catch this 10th Pokemon. That's a decent Scyther, it's getting transferred. Lily Kath, a friend of the channel, a OG in the mods, uh, or in the mod squad. Um, she has her own YouTube channel and I'm gonna collect this. She is, I think, when I checked, seven subscribers away from a thousand subs, which will give her the ability to stream this weekend, because you need I think you need a thousand subs to stream on YouTube. So she wants to stream during community day. So I will leave the link to her channel in the description if you can go give her a sub and get her to at least a thousand, like at least seven of you go and subscribe. Get her to that 1K mark, that's a big one. And then it, again, it allows her to stream, which is great. So that was a hound door, that was not good. Uh, I need to go buy water bottles because I don't have water in my hotel and I'm starving. So we're gonna get some food. I found a good place too. So, and then we're gonna actually talk about brand new update, brand new feature. First new feature in a while, we'll cover that too. Now, before we get to the, uh, man, there's like four different locations I almost said in my head, none of which are even close to where we are. That is the um, Notre Dame Cathedral. We're almost at it and we're gonna go check it out. I, we might go inside today. I'm definitely gonna do that this week. I'm not sure that's, that's today, but we need to talk, first of all, Scyther check, please. Ugh. I've seen some Scyther spawns too. I, I've actually found, surprisingly, I've found quite a bit, a lot more Scyther than I thought I would have found during this event. I found a lot, so I feel like if I really would have hunted and like would have played more than a couple hours a day, I probably could have got this shiny. Then again, I say that. I don't have much of a, a good track record for catching shiny Pokemon. Also, these could be very well be 98 ABI uh, Scyther, and I'm transferring them like it's nothing. Also, I just wonderfully drifted away from two stops I was right on top of, and part of this clip was spitting those two stops and seeing if I could get Another Scyther quest, that is annoying. Wait, We're we, we gotta be in range of this one. Okay, we are, fantastic. That is not a Scyther. I have to go walk over here. And the other one was also not a Scyther. That was sent two gifts. So we've got one Scyther we're working on, one Caterpie we're working on actually. And uh, let's walk over to the Notre Dame Cathedral and talk about the new feature, Lucky Friends. Okay, let's uh, let's talk lucky friends uh, outside of the cathedral. And actually, we have two scyther checks. Number one that are spawned on top of the cathedral, which is actually just wonderful timing. Lucky friends, a brand new. It's it's not even like a new thing. It's like a new feature. Again, we haven't had that was I the throwing. I my fingers not warmed up today. We haven't had many like new features come out. Uh, that's kind of a rare thing. We have events happening all the time. There's new shinies happening all the time. But like new features are kind of like a. You know, it's a special occasion, essentially. We should celebrate today. Well, as part of this new feature, Lucky Friends, here's the explanation, and I don't have, I'm assuming there's graphics that go along with this explanation, uh, and hopefully I will have added them on screen. I don't know if I'm gonna add those, but if, if I didn't add the graphics, I'll leave the link in the description for the article where you can go see what like the Lucky Friend graphics look like, because I'm assuming they'll release graphics. If they didn't, then we'll see when, they, when it comes out in game. But Lucky Friends, when you are lucky friends with someone, the next time you trade with each other, both Pokemon, will become lucky Pokemon. That's a big thing, and that's even bigger because that ensures lucky special trades. Now, it's probably gonna be pretty hard to be lucky friends with someone, and from what I've read so far, it's pretty randomized, but this is like, if you ever wanted like a lucky, a lucky shiny legendary, or a lucky legendary, or a lucky shiny, and didn't wanna, you know, trade a million times to maybe get it, like, this is exactly how to do it. Um, through, well, obviously, if you have 
guaranteed lucky trades, but like, this is it, man. For all those shiny luckies, this is how to get all the shiny luckies. Now, the question, how do you become lucky friends? Once you become best friends, you will have a chance to become lucky friends. You will have this chance once per day when you and your best friend trade Pokemon, open gifts, uh, team up in raids or gym battles, or challenge each other to trainer battles. So. Basically, yeah, like like the thing just said there, you have a once a day chance with your best friend. You have to be best friends in order to get lucky friends. And then you basically just get it randomly. It's off chance. I have no idea what the chance is, but it's just a random chance. Uh, and you kind of just engage with each other in game uh, through all of the outlets that you can as friends. So that's how you become lucky friends. Uh, I'm, I have a little bit more explaining to do. I'm gonna go to the other side of the cathedral because it's almost as cool, if not cooler, on that side. And actually, maybe we could get uh, we, we need what? We need three more bug types until we can collect, so maybe we can get that on the other side of the cathedral. So we were able to complete that task, and we do actually, no way, have a pseudo widow spawn right here. Notice how I checked the pseudo widow, or caught the pseudo widow before I checked uh, a possibly shiny Pineco, along with a possibly shiny Swablu that might not be there after I catch this. Wow, I can't throw today. And also, as for the rest of the information on lucky friends, question, how do I know if my best friend is now a lucky friend? How do you know if you got lucky friends? Did I just critical at pseudo widow? Similar to when you level up your friendships, you and your best friend will receive a notification basically saying, congratulations, I have lost the Pineco. It's not there anymore. Basically, you guys will get a notification like, hey, you guys are lucky friends, congrats. Also, when you go into your friends list, you'll be able to see that they are your new lucky friend um, that way. And remember, it lasts for one trade. So I, I guess the unfortunate part, let me get this Swablu before we collect this Scyther. I guess the unfortunate part, the one concern that I have is that most when I say most, I mean 100% of my friends, especially my best friends, I don't, they're not anywhere close to me, especially now. Um, so the whole lucky friends thing for me won't work unless I'm in the Bay Area or unless, you know, like Jake and Jonathan uh, or G Connor or Gavin were like all together. So like at GoFest, lucky friends are gonna be great. But other than that, I'm gonna punch this Swablu in the face. So like I wouldn't find much utility in it. It's an awesome feature. I really, again, I really like it because you could get the shiny lucky Pokemon, that's fantastic. But like, I will probably never get to use this just like I never get to use EX raids. <laughs> and it's all because I'm friendless. No, it's because none of my best friends are like in my immediate area and the ones that are, I don't see much. Also, Pineco, back at it. Oh, let's get it. But yeah, that's what's happening. Um, and then also after completing the trade, your lucky friend status will return back to best friend status. So after the lucky trade is over, you are back to best friends. You don't like lose friendship or anything, so you have to worry about that either, if that was even a legitimate concern. But that's what's up. That's lucky friends in Pokemon Go. Basically, you've got one trade, you become lucky friends from playing with each other, and uh, you've got one trade in order to get a guaranteed lucky Pokemon, and then that is it. Uh, and it could happen. You've got like a what? A once per day shot with all of your best friends, right? Yeah, you have this chance once per day. I don't understand the full mechanics of this. Like in this, like once per day is in like once per day per best friend, once per day for all of your friends, and when it's once per day, is it like one raid per day? Or I don't, I, I don't know the logistics behind this. And we actually something else is coming out, which is this freaking shiny Scyther <laughs> avatar poses. Um, What's this, you ask? I'm asking the same thing. Ready to stand out at the gym or on your friends list? We are now introducing avatar poses that will allow you to customize how your trainer is posed on your trainer profile in the friends list, in raid lobbies, in gyms, and in battle previews. It looks like we're getting a little bit of Fortnite here thrown into Pokemon Go in the sense of customization, finally. That wasn't like a, that wasn't a bad thing, by the way, throwing some Fortnite in, that's a good thing. We can customize a little bit more, which is cool. So I hope to see that. Gotta be. I hope to see that more. Um, you know, like maybe like like mocks and dances and stuff. Like you know, when you go into a gym, when you go into a gym, you should be able to see everyone's Pokemon and their trainer. I don't like how you have to click on the Pokemon to see the trainer. I think the trainer should stand next to the Pokemon in all of the gyms. And I think when you enter a gym, like let's say you buy like a taunt, right? Um, the moment you enter the gym, like you do your taunt and then you do your little pose and you kind of just stand there and look at whoever's looking at you. 
I think that would be cool. But as for the rest of today's adventure, it will be a, uh, a part of tomorrow's video. Tomorrow's legendary lunch hour, so we have a busy, like, just day here in Paris. Um, so that's what's happening. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments what do you think of Lucky Friends. Let me know down below, and I hope you guys had fun in your bug out event because it is pretty much over after today. So I'll see you all in the next video, which I'm gonna start recording in about two hours from now. And uh, yeah, peace out from Paris. Au revoir. <laughs>